manner in which biological control agents are handled from the moment you collect or obtain them during transportation to the release site until the moment they are released will affect whether they will survive and multiply at the new site. To reduce mortality or injury, it's ideal to release biocontrol agents the same day they are collected. Regardless of the method you use to field collect weed biocontrol agents, extraneous debris, such as other insects or weed seeds, must be sorted and removed. This can be accomplished in different ways, such as using sorting trays in an aspirator, picking out the target biocontrol agent by hand, or using a passive sorter. A relatively simple passive sorting option is to take a large PVC pipe or even a large mailing tube and either drill holes or saw slits that are just larger than the size of your target biocontrol agent. Cap off both ends after you put your sweet contents inside and place the sorter in a mesh bag or even a lightweight white pillowcase. Insects will crawl towards the sun, so after the sorter is placed in the sun for up to 30 minutes, many of the desired biocontrol agents will come out of the holes and into the bag while larger insects, less mobile insects, and debris all stay inside and can be dumped out after. Many biocontrol agents will try to crawl or fly away immediately when collected, especially at high temperatures. Cooling the collected sample for 10 to 15 minutes reduces insect activity and can make sorting easier. Any cooling should be done in a refrigerator, not a freezer. If sorting is done in the field, keep the sorting trays or containers in the shade. If you are collecting a large number of insects from a productive insectary site, here's a trick to speed up the sorting and counting process for beetle biocontrol agents. Count out a set number of beetles two to five times. For example, 100 to 200 Mycinus beetles into separate collecting vials. Gently tap the bottom of the vial to knock down all the beetles, then mark the fill level on the vial. Using the average fill level based on those two to five collection vials, will allow you to collect approximate release size densities of biocontrol agents without needing to count out each individual insect. Remember that adults of the various biocontrol species are different in size, so different fill levels should be used for each species. Following collection and sorting, biocontrol agents should be transferred to release containers intended to protect them and to keep them from escaping en route to the release site. Containers should be rigid to resist crushing and ventilated to provide adequate airflow and prevent condensation. Unwaxed paperboard cartons are ideal for most species. Alternatively, you can use light-colored lined containers such as ice cream cartons or plastic containers as long as they're ventilated. Cut or poke holes in the container or its lid and cover the holes with a fine mesh screen. Do not use glass or metal release containers. They're breakable and make it difficult to regulate temperature, airflow, and humidity. For insects, fill containers with crumpled tissue paper to provide a substrate for insects to rest on and hide in and to help regulate humidity. Include several fresh sprigs of the target weed foliage. Sprigs should be free of roots, seeds, flowers, dirt, spiders, and other insects. Do not place sprigs in water-filled containers. They may crush the biocontrol agents or drown them upon leaking. Seal the container lids with masking tape or rubber bands. Be sure to label each container with at least the name and number of biocontrol agents, the collection date and site, and the name of the person who did the collecting. When infested stems or foliage are used for redistribution, the plant material should be stored in sealable but breathable bags made of paper or gauze. Plastic bags may cause moist plant material to rot or drown the biocontrol agents. Infested plant material should be kept cool at all times to avoid deterioration during hot summer months. If you sort and package your agents indoors, keep them in a refrigerator no lower than 40 degrees Fahrenheit until you transport or ship them, which should occur as soon as possible, but no longer than 48 hours. For biocontrol species that hibernate within target weed material over winter, for example, some beetle species, infested plant material can be kept in cold storage over winter and then transferred the following spring. Plant material must be retained under consistently cold, moist conditions, ideally 40 to 46 Fahrenheit at 60% humidity, to keep biocontrol agents alive and discourage them from leaving the stems until host plants begin growing on release sites the following spring.